Okay, three. Go see your new room. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh, Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are tackling my boy's bedroom, but first we are going to get started with a crock pot dinner. On days where I'm doing a lot, I like to go ahead and get my crock pot started or just have something thrown in the oven so I'm not standing over the stove when I have lots to do. I'm just putting together a roast. I have my beef stew in the crock pot. I'm going to add onions, potatoes, celery. We are going to add some water and then once that gets really hot, I'm going to be adding in some better than beyond and we're gonna let this cook all day so it will be ready for us when we're ready to eat dinner tonight as always I have my trash bowl so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that and really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and put together my 13 year olds goodie bags for her basketball party it is the end of the season so I decided to make sweet little goodie bags for all the girls so let's go ahead and put these together just really cheap things that I found at Walmart I had a big bag of Reese's we had some scented markers and little notepads candy bracelets and roll on lip gloss and I also picked up some of this basketball ribbon to tie them off with the girls really loved them they were having pizza and soda we also brought up some things like some cups and ice for the drinks and I also brought up some cupcakes and she stayed up there for about two hours having a blast with her friends for the end of the season party so now that we have this taken care of let's head back to the boys room I'm gonna show y'all the before and then we're gonna get started I decided to go ahead and train my two-year-old to sleep in his crib with the front piece off and I thought for sure it would take him a week or two to fully learn how to stay in his bed and sleep like a big boy. No y'all, it took him one night. This boy got it down pat within that first night. He did not take a nap the first day that we took the crib piece off. He was just so excited and it was just something new so we just tested him out for nap time first so we laid him in the crib at nap time and of course he didn't go to sleep but that night it took him a while to go to sleep and then he woke up at 3 a.m and went back to sleep at 5 30 a.m <laughs> and then he was up for the day around eight ish so the first night was rough for mama but that second night he slept all night and i've been not having any problems out of him since he's been doing so so wonderful so we are so ready to change the boys room up and since my two-year-old shares this room with my four-year-old we decided to go ahead and get my two-year-old a twin size bed instead of a toddler bed and I've had that white crib for a long time it used to be my six-year-old's crib when she was a baby so <laughs> we've had it for quite some time and the emotions of letting this crib go are indescribable. I have been holding back tears for ever since I've taken this crib down. And the one thing that really got me is actually seeing the crib get taken down, get taken apart and get moved out of the room. And I was actually the one to carry the last piece of the crib out of the room and I know it's not a, that big of a deal to my husband but mamas understand it's so so hard when we take that crib down we take that crib out of the room and we advance onto a bigger bed so I wanted to initially get Jackson the same bed that Nolan had but Amazon for some reason discontinued this bed and I was so upset about it because I really didn't want to purchase two beds but I really wanted their beds to match so what I did was find two cheap beds off of Amazon Amazon. They were so affordable, but they don't feel cheap. They feel good quality. They are sturdy. They're really good beds and they don't have this middle piece. As you can see on the leg, this bed has a middle piece where you can stomp your toe on it. We hate those little pieces so much. We have them on my bed too in my bedroom and my husband always stomps his toe on it and he <laughs> always says he, how much he hates that bed because of that piece. So the new beds do not have the stomp your toe piece, thankfully, and also, I believe underneath the bed storage area is a little bigger in the new beds. So anyways, we are excited for the new beds. But first things first, we are going to get started with cleaning these baseboards behind the beds since they are moved and I have free space to get it clean. I'm going to be wiping down spots off of the wall, wiping down the baseboards, and we're going to go ahead and vacuum. I'm 
And before we get too far into today's video, I want to let y'all know it is in collaboration with my really good friend, Lauren Yarbrough. I love her channel. Our channels are very similar. Our personalities are very similar. I know y'all are going to love her. We have collabed before, so y'all probably remember her. But I know I have lots of new faces here, so I'm going to go ahead and let Lauren introduce herself here. Hey y'all, it's Lauren and I'm excited to be collaborating with Marie again. Lots of fun projects and updates going on in both of our videos today. I am completely redoing my two-year-old son Oliver's room and it turned out even cuter than I thought possible. And we're also sharing some really exciting news in today's video, so make sure to head over to my channel when you're done here today. And I hope to have you stick around and subscribe for lots of weekly homemaking, cleaning, and mom motivation content. But now back to Marie. If you're coming over from Lauren's channel, hi, how are you? I hope you're having a good day and I hope you are enjoying my video. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. I have tons of mom life motivation, cleaning motivation, decorating ideas, recipes, and I keep it really real and relatable over here. So if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you a part of my channel. I'm a stay at home YouTube mama of four kids from Georgia and we live in a small three bedroom house in the country and we do have plans to purchase a home one day we have tried before but it just didn't work out so fingers crossed that we do get to do that one day so we don't want to change it up too much for Jackson so we will still be putting his bed in the same exact place that his crib was except for obviously it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna go against this wall so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum over here and get the baseboards clean and then we're gonna build his big boy bed over here and I'm just still so emotional about this you guys like watching this video back the whole process like there's no way to not be emotional about it but I'm gonna go ahead and take down these dark green curtains we had the jungle theme going on in here for both of the boys to share a room and it was so cute but with changing Jackson to the big boy bed instead of buying more jungle decor I wanted to get something that striked both of their interest both of the boys love race cars and airplanes and travel things so I wanted to do a travel room for the boys like cars and planes and just vehicles so these are what the beds look like the other bed was more of a yellowish tone this one is more of a brown wood tone so I do like the color of this bed way better anyways so we're gonna go ahead and bring in the boys new mattresses I wanted to go ahead and replace Nolan's mattress also because his was just one of those cheap springy mattresses so I wanted to get the boys a nice memory foam mattress these are the 8 inch foam medium firm mattresses from Costway and it also comes with a cover that zips on and off, but I also have another mattress cover that I'm going to be putting over it just to protect it. I have quite a few items from Costway and all of their stuff is really high quality and I love to shop Costway. If you are interested in shopping all things Costway home or baby or kids, definitely check my description box below for the link. These are ergonomic mattresses with cooling and breathable material and the mattress also has a non-slip bottom which I love that it's not going to slip and slide around on the base of the bed. And they are so perfect for a kid's room because they are really lightweight and easy to pick up whenever you are changing their sheets. So I love that the mattresses aren't super thick and heavy, but they are so comfortable. I actually ended up laying down on Jackson's bed with him this night and the bed was so comfortable I could have fell asleep in a heartbeat. But I highly recommend these mattresses if you are doing your kids rooms or they need a new mattress. They are so comfortable and I really love how feather lightweight they are so it makes changing their sheets a breeze. And I always keep mattress protectors over all of my kids' beds and our bed just to protect that mattress from dust and stains or if one of my kids may have an accident or get sick in the middle of the night, you wanna make sure that your mattress is protected. So underneath the bed, I have these storage containers as well as some plastic totes that I use to store things under the beds. And I like to store the blankets and sheets for the boys' room in this container under one of the beds. And then I also have some extra toy rotation toys stored under there. As you can see, we don't have that stomp your toe piece that I was talking about earlier. I love it so, so much. Thank you. 
As for this bed rail, it is advertised used on a twin size bed, but I could not figure out how to make it work on here. I actually had to call my husband in here to try to help me and it doesn't really fit on this bed right but we made it work it's not going to flip off or fall or anything the mattress is kind of just holding it in place but i definitely need a bed rail on this bed so he doesn't roll off and it has been working great he has not rolled out of his bed yet he's been staying sleeping at the top of the bed like where the pillows are and right there at it so he hasn't flipped down to the bottom of the bed or anything hopefully he doesn't start doing that but he's been sleeping in it really really well so we're going to go ahead and put up the boys new curtains i wanted to go with these blue and white plaid they are room darkening the green ones were blackout these are just room darkening and they block out a lot of light they're really good quality they are from amazon and i will link below everything that i'm able to link but i did get one thing from goodwill and i got something from ross but most of it is ordered from amazon Anytime I get new curtains or new bedding and it comes in a plastic bag, I try to utilize that bag around my house. So the bag that these curtains came in is a little zippered bag, so I'm just going to take the plastic and cardboard out of it. And these are perfect for my, my toy rotation. I can store some Hot Wheels cars in here or some kind of blocks or some kind of toys and store these in my toy rotation, very organized. So definitely take advantage of those packaging with the zippers for the bedding and the curtains and things like that because they can definitely come in useful around your house for storage so over the boys beds I thought long and hard about what I wanted to do over their beds I wanted this room to specifically be where it can grow with them so if Nolan is eight or ten years old he's not gonna outgrow this room if we don't want to change it up by then I do plan to leave this room like this for a long while so I really wanted the boys to be able to grow with it versus doing like Super Mario or Minions or something that they're gonna outgrow this is definitely something that can grow with them it's something that they like now so I didn't want to pay a pretty penny for the maps that I'm hanging over the boys beds but these are the ones that I liked the most and like I said I do plan for these to be here for a while so I did go ahead and invest in these maps it's two different pictures of the world and Nolan specifically said that he wants the part of the world where we live to be over his bed so I made sure to put that part over his bed and we're going to hang the other side of the map over here on Jackson's side of the room but these are just the ones that I kept going back to looking through the maps and the different options I had I really really just loved these and next we're gonna go ahead and put the boys bedding on I didn't do that first because I was washing everything before I put it all up on their beds but the sheet set that I went with it looks like little sketches and drawings of cars and airplanes and army trucks and just vehicles and they ended up loving these so much I think they are so cool for a little boys room the color scheme that I'm going with for this room is blues like navy blues dark blues and the wood tones and we're also going to have a really pretty bronze airplane book holder that I got we're going to put over there on the dresser here in just a minute but I love the color of the room and I think it all came together so so nicely these comforters are reversible but I really like the striped side on the top and then the bottom the back side is just a dark navy blue
and since we don't really use flat sheets I'm just gonna store those in the extra sheets and pillowcases under the beds I used to use flat sheets until I met my husband and he hated those sheets he did not like to use them so I quit using a flat sheet when I got with my husband and that was back when I was 19 years old so I stopped using those flat sheets because of him and my kids don't really care for them either they usually just end up wadded up somewhere on the bed so anyways we're gonna go ahead and switch out this dresser we actually switched this dresser out before I even started this makeover but this was the old nursery dresser with baby locks on it and then I found this black dresser at Goodwill for $99 and it's a bigger and it does have a little bit of dents and dings in it because it is a used dresser but it is very nice the drawers are very nice it, they slide in and out really good it's a very very nice dresser so I was so happy I found this I actually seen it there and I looked at it and I didn't get it but I ended up calling a couple days later to see if they still had it and they sure did so we went up there and loaded it up and I'm so happy I got this I feel like it goes with the boys room so good and it looks more like a boys dresser than that white one did I specifically bought the white dresser to match the white crib because before we moved in this house Jackson had a nursery and I had my little boy and my little girl sharing a room with the bunk beds because they were both little they're both 18 months apart and it just worked out so perfect but when they got older I put my two girls in the room together and then my two boys in the room together and then this works out really perfect so I do still use the changing pad since he is still in diapers so I bought this really adorable airplane changing pad cover I think it is so adorable and then I bought the boys three new books that has to do with airplanes we have little airplane we have away in my airplane and we also have a book called planes and I'm just gonna set these up on this little shelf over here and I also bought this adorable compass that I'm gonna be hanging on the wall I needed something to go kind of like over the lamp I feel like it's an empty space because the middle bookshelf is kind of in the center of the dresser and I also I found this sailboat at Goodwill it's a very vintage rustic style for $3.99 and I thought it was so perfect for their travel room I also did find a hot air balloon that I ended up not using in here because I just didn't feel like it went well I didn't like it that much so we ended up not using the hot air balloon but we have our maps we have our compass we have our sailboat we have our airplanes and I love their sheets because it has just all the cars and army trucks and travel vehicles on it. And I'm going to end up hanging this compass over here to the right of the bookshelves. And I also have an aviator teddy bear that I found from Amazon. It is so adorable. Honestly, when I bought it, I thought it was going to be bigger. But it is a small little teddy bear but honestly it's perfect size to fit sitting here on the shelf so we're gonna add all this decor over here I'm just figuring out what works and how I want to put everything but I ended up loving how it all turned out and the world globe on the dresser I ended up finding that at Ross for about $12 I was gonna order one but I'm so glad I found that one in store I would much rather find my stuff in store versus having to order it and I did order this airplane bookend holder. I'm going to put some of their Love Every books in between it. But Nolan specifically was so excited about this book holder. I think it is so adorable and it looks perfect here on their dresser. And last but not least, we are going to hang up the boy's hat holder. Nolan used to have like three or four different hats. And this boy keeps leaving his hats around places, y'all, and losing them. I believe he left one at one of Adeline's basketball games a couple years ago when she did basketball previously. And it's just gone. But he had a black hat that said Nolan on it. And he had a black hat that said Big Bro on it. He's had a few hats. But right now, currently, he has no hats because he has lost them all. So we currently just have Jackson's hat. It says Jackson on the front. And Nolan had one matching that said Nolan. But he lost it. So that breaks my heart because those hats were so adorable. Their little matching hats were so cute. But that was the perfect little space to put their little hat holder. And hopefully I can build up their hat collection. And we can learn how to keep up with our hats a little bit better. But Jackson's comforter just got done in the dryer, so we're going to go ahead and put his bed together. It's a little challenging to put his comforter on with the bed rail, but I know that we need the bed rail on here, so we're just going to tuck it in. We're going to vacuum up the room, and then I'm going to share with you guys the boys' reaction to their room. I 
I actually almost forgot about the little aviator teddy bear because I had it in my bedroom closet. So I ran and got that and we are going to make room for it over here on the shelf to do a last finishing touches over here. And I'm so happy that the boys loved their room so much. The jungle theme was just something that we went with to transition Jackson from his nursery into the shared room with Nolan. And I just kind of picked a theme and went with it because we were moving into this house so I just went ahead and grabbed some jungle decor to put their room together but it's not anything that neither of them really were like obsessed with or loved but this room is something that they definitely are obsessed with and love so I'm just so happy and grateful that I was able to put this room together for them and the last finishing touch is going to be the airplane that we picked up at Goodwill for $1.50. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better And now I'm going to run back to the kitchen and throw in my beef bouillon and some salt, pepper, and garlic powder now that the water is super hot and let that cook for the rest of the day. And I'm thanking myself that dinner is already going so I don't have to worry about it later. But thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out Lauren's video next and I will see y'all in my next one.